Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Today is Friday, September 8th. Hope everybody had a good short week of trading with Labor Day Monday being closed. Let's take a quick look at the markets and then we'll jump into the trades this week, starting with volatility. So VIX started off on Tuesday, just around 14, popped up above 15 and a half and then closed back down below 14. So even with the S&P pretty much sliding lower all week. Volatility actually closed lower as well. So not what we necessarily want to see for premium selling, but it is what it is. NASDAQ also lower on the week by a little bit. Russell, the weakest of the bunch. And the Dow, uh, a little bit choppier. A couple, couple little bounces Thursday and Friday in the Dow. Uh, gold down slightly. Silver down pretty big. Uh, notes and bonds slightly lower on the week. Ten-year yield uh, holding its head above 4.25. Oil, uh, let's see, this was Tuesday, so a little bit choppy sideways. Natty gas a little bit lower on the week. Grains all pretty choppy. Euro and the pound lower. And Bitcoin still hanging around that $26,000 level. All right, so let's jump into the trades for the week. Uh, let's start with zero DTE. So nice, nice week for zero DTE to start out September. Um, about 20, actually, that's not right. Uh, it's actually about closer to about 15,000. Uh, I'll show you why here, but let's, let's go through the different strategies and break these down. So starting with AM ratio. So AM ratio, a uh, couple trades. Actually, there's there's one more in here. For some reason, I've got a ticket into Trader Sync. For some reason, um, a couple of my trades switched the setup that I had uh, tagged it with, and so I actually had three AM ratios down about 5,700 on those three. It's only showing two of the three, but there's another one, and then um, reason being is because my DKS. For some reason, it is showing up on my DKS. So this minus $1,700 on this one is actually an AM ratio. So on the DKS trade, had four trades, one loser. Uh, so down on those as well. Uh, but that was the that was my first DKS loser. So that one's been doing well until this week. Uh, zero DTE ducks. Uh, two trades, about minus 1,800 between those two. Had one uh, sizable loser on Wednesday, minus 4,700, and then a $2,800 winner. On JSPs, just did one of those, selling puts, uh, plus 1,650. And Power Hour, Old Reliable, is back this week, plus 17,000 for Power Hour. Tuesday was a small winner between all three tranches. Wednesday was a nice winner, about six, seven thousand. Uh, Thursday was a small winner of about, call it thirteen hundred, twelve hundred. And then today, really nice winner, about eight thousand. So plus seventeen k for power hour on the short week. I'll take that. And then the PM ratios have really been doing well and it continued this week uh, another 8200 on two trades on the pm ratio iron condors and then the quiet lunch trades three of those uh one of which was today was a, a decent sized loser the other two were winners uh so small red on the week on those three trades and then my buddy rick um None of it, none of it set up this week. Uh, as you can see, I, I tagged this as a discretionary trade and it ended up being a full loser. So that's why I said my total zero DTE was showing 20,000, but this will settle overnight. And so that'll actually be a little over a $5,000 loser. So net net about 15 K um, positive for, for zero DTE for the week. Uh, dynamic butterflies. Time flies, nice rebound, three winners there, one for 585, one for 700, one for 900. So total time flies, uh, almost 2,200 in profits on those. 
and the dynamic calendar. So calendars continue on the struggle bus this week. Let me get all these checked so I make sure I cover all of them. And there we go. All right, so tiny winner on an NDX trade, $1,600 loser on a TGIF, $1,300 loser on a 6.7, 680 loser on a BNB, and an 800 loser on a BNB. So a little rough on the calendars lately, but uh, I mean, traditionally, they've, they've always been one of my consistent, most profitable strategies at the end of the year. So I'm going to keep trading them. I don't, I don't think, I think it's just a drawdown in some strategies that are still very solid. So don't plan on making any changes there, even though they have been in a drawdown, that's for sure. Um, all right, iron ducks. Uh, so no closed trades, just added a couple new ones that I'll show you when we get to the platform. No NTT trades, uh, option selling, a couple winners here. Small, tiny winner on a hedgehog in ES, a $230 winner on a hedgehog in NASDAQ. The rest of these are open, which I'll show you. And then lastly, on our portfolio margin. So we have these trades that are specific to portfolio margin accounts. So Golden Shark plus 1,000. Humpty Dumpty is a trade that's still kind of in test mode, but booked a small $135 profit on that one. And then a portfolio margin time fly plus $1,250. So um, let me refresh that. So total of $2,400 on PM trades. All right, let me go to the platform. I'll show you some of the open positions that we've got. Starting with in RUT, we've got a... So I don't know what, what the deal is with toss on this trade, but I'm actually up about 400 plus on this remaining piece. I already took three of five off for about a, uh, a five, 6% profit holding these other two. And I'm up about another eight between eight and 10%. Uh, so I'll take that off. This has a step 29 expiration. So I've got a little bit of time left. Uh, so if we can get some continuation lower, we could be in the max profit area on that one. Um, as far as TGIF goes, I've got one of those. That is right here. Just put this one on today. Market's closed, but it's showing up a little bit already. Um, also have a, a 3.5 DTE, a 3.6 DTE, which I'll take off Monday morning. I've got a 6.7 DTE, which I'll take off on Wednesday. Those are in a different account, so I can't show you those here. And then on the option selling, there's my Rick that hit max profit or max loss. Um, I've got a time fly on that we just put on today. That's pretty close to where we put it on. And then as far as option selling trades, I've got a short strangle in the Euro. Uh, we've adjusted that one once. We've got a short strangle in oil that is we just put on a couple days ago, so not much change there. We've got a hedgehog in oil. Which is oh yeah, we took off the yeah, we locked in a, a profit because we took off the, the short puts. Still holding the vertical just as a kind of a lottery, but we've already locked in a little profit on that one. ES, we've got a hedgehog. It's up a tiny bit. Gold, we've got a reverse hedgehog. Could use a push higher in gold is where we would see the uh, most of the profit come in there. Got a, a couple of short strangles in MES. Uh, this one is getting close to profit target after adjustments, but haven't quite hit that yet. And then our two new ducks, we've got a new duck in QQQs, pretty close to where we put that on after some swings back and forth. And then SPX, we've got a duck that we just put on. So, and it's come down a little bit since we put that on, uh, but still well within range. So those are all the trades. Those are all the positions.
that's your update. Hope everybody has a good weekend. Uh, I'll be streaming in the morning on Monday at the Open for Zero DTE, and we'll also be streaming for Power Hour. So we'll look forward to seeing you then. Have a good weekend.